are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, one of the biggest stories this week um, in the sports world was uh, Adrian Peterson, who's made over a hundred million dollars in his a career. Hundred stacks. Um, he owes he's like millions of dollars in debt right now. Five point something million dollars in debt. In debt. And um, he blames uh, p- trusting the wrong people with his money, bad investments, and things like that. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was just—I think it's just—I think it's, I still think it's sad, but like, damn, bro. it's sad, but it's not as uncommon. No, yeah, yeah as yeah. you think it is. Like, you remember the um, the the thirty for thirty broke? The, the yes, ESPN thirty for thirty story called broke. Yeah, and it showed you how easy it is for the athletes to go broke. When you think like hundred million, you think a hundred million. You think of like that's kind of like generation. Yes, it's generational if 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 done right, if and done correctly. right. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying so, but you can blow through a hundred million with an entourage. Yeah, with with a couple of Bentleys, yeah. with a couple of bad deals, niggas. Niggas always want to open a chicken joint. Yo, know, give me a, a string of chicken joint. Yeah. Know nothing about business. Got the wrong people with you. No disrespect, a lot of these dudes is bammers. They're coming from places where the education, because football is their key or basketball is their key, and they don't understand business. Not their fault. Because Adrian Peterson is actually one of the best running backs I've ever watched. Yes, but and the fact that he's still playing and trying to make a team. Yeah, yeah, but is well, a little shocking. You think? You think it's because it's the competitive nature? Nah, it could be because of finances. Yeah, he's trying to. He he needs that check. He needs that check. You know what I mean, and and that's sad, uh, you know, because again, you make a hundred million dollars. Come on, bro. Yeah. And, and you were running back, so you know it's a it's a small window. He, I think he actually came in the so he came in. He the came in the right time when it was still like a one back. Right, one offense. back offense. You know what I'm saying? And you you got the ball 20, 30 times a yeah. game, and you know you was able to make a a living. Yeah. Now they with the analytics, they 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 see it's like no, makes no sense to pay a running back. It makes a, no sense. A big you contract. got two three years. I run that rookie contract, and then you can go, and I'll bring in somebody else to run the ball because the analytics games is telling them it's not worth it. It's not worth it. That's why Melvin Gordon is actually trying to hold out on the charges. It's a couple of Cowboys yeah. running back. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel is trying to hold out, and they're like, yo, bro, I mean, I can find a running back. I can find a Bama from Bama. First of all, with you Zeke, know. it's like we found you. Right. Absolutely. Remember, they had, um, what, what's his name? Let's get free. Peace. What's his name they had? Uh, DeMarco Murray. He was running. And then he almost, I think he almost did 2,000 yards that season. Yeah. And then he wanted more, and they said no. It's that offensive we line. We have a great offensive line. You, you know what I mean? Miles. He got a huge contract in Philly. And he flopped. And he flopped. So that was just, you know. Back to the Adrian Peterson yeah. situation. Remember, Kevin Garnett. Oh, 70 M. $77 million. $77, yeah. Two bad investments or his accountant. Yeah. Now, listen, I... I, I'm listen. You 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 gotta be slow to lose seventy seven million dollars. I'm sorry. Now if if I'm worth that, if I lose seven million over fifteen years and you my accountant, yeah, par for the course, my nigga. Yeah. I charge that to the game. Yeah. You know you might have you know ciphered a few bucks here and there. Seventy seven million. That means I put my total trust. In you that you were gonna do, you saw and it. you were just giving me something when I need. Oh, you need a house? Here's a house. Yeah, and we, we I got the money. <laughs> no, no, that ain't. He was like, this, this is like, yeah, I, yeah, that's for you. <laughs> I, I, I'm holding every morning when I wake up. I'm like this. Yeah. Hey, honey, we doing good. Yo, first, you, you know his um, he has to pay his wife like over a hundred hundred thousand a month in spousal support, spousal and child support. Yeah, yeah, that's one point two million a year. Yeah, yeah. God, listen, damn. listen. If these ladies ain't out here playing, God, these damn. these chicks are going for home runs, and 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 it, and it brings us back to the college situation yeah. where I told you all these white girls are going to college, catching a beam of light. <laughs> they be waiting at the air station, and I call it the air station because brothers be taking off with their career, and they wait there, and they catch a nigga on the way out. And next thing you know, they rich, and their families is yeah. racist. But because your black man is worth thirty million, yeah. we accept him. You know what I mean? So that's the way that goes. So brothers got to start staying on top of their game. Yeah. You know, because Adrian Peterson might have to run the next two, three years. Which is crazy. 
He might. Uh, just it's to, Adrian Peterson. Just to get out of debt. Just to get out of debt and so. to break even. Basically. And to break even. And I now think. you got to go home. That nigga might be working in KFC in a year or two. Damn. Hey, this is Adrian. Man, take your order. Damn. Would you like some fries with that? Yeah, yeah. That's the way that shit happens. Well, um, it's 2019, and the fact that uh, he's having, uh, he, he has a lack of financial education is no excuse. Especially, it is no excuse. Especially in 2019. Especially with, in 2019. With uh, the information everywhere. You know Absolutely. And with that being said, we're going to pay some bills. Yeah, yeah. So this perfectly segues yeah. into our bills that we're going to pay. And this is the DJ. The money coach. The money coach. Once again, we started this last week. Yeah, and shout out to the people that signed that up. That signed up already. Yeah. We had about 15, 20 people sign up already. We need about 15 or 20 more to get this thing popping. And it's a listen, it's a great price. It's like it's it's uh thirty dollars right now. Yeah. And it is gonna go up to it's gonna go up to uh, Sixty dollars. I something. paid ninety nine dollars when I did it. You got I did caught it out there. No, no, I, I, I wanted. No, I, I wanted to. Yeah, 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 I yeah. wanted to like you know experience experience it, it so you can so I can put your stamp on it. Absolutely. On it. So I paid ninety nine dollars. You guys don't have to pay ninety nine dollars right now. Right. So ignorance of finances in this day and time, no bueno at all. Right. So let's run that commercial and we'll come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about it. Facts. Hi, I'm DJ the Money Coach from SevenSphereOfMoney.com. Black Dot and Malcolm have asked me to do my Family Finance 101 course for the Urban Excellence community on Urban X. Man, we're excited because it's going to be a once in a lifetime webinar that we've been doing since the year 2000. This webinar is fun, fast, packed with a whole bunch of principles for financial success. And you're probably wondering why I have a, a cap on because I'm DJ, the money coach. So money is about coaching, just like sports. So we're going to bring you two hours of 136 principles of financial success. We're going to provide you with a family finance one-on-one encyclopedia. It'll give you everything from A to Z about money. We'll also give you a 17 page financial education report. And if you just look over my shoulder here, that report will teach you about your personal net worth, your monthly cash flow, your retirement plan, your college planning, your debt freedom plan. It'll teach you how to increase your credit in the four quadrants of credit. It can take you from a 500 credit score to an 800 credit score in as little as 12 to 24 months. We'll also teach you how to do succession planning and most importantly, teach your children like mine how to become millionaires at the young age of 10 if they only can invest $21 a month with a 12% return over 50 years, they will guarantee have $1 million in the bank based on the rule of 72. So I want you to come join us on the beaches of the World Club and live a pom-pom lifestyle. That's plenty of money and peace of mind right now with Urban Excellence on Urban X Podcast. Family Finance 101, come see us at the top on this webinar. And we're back. And we're back. So uh, I think, so for the people that just watched that, uh, I think it would be a great opportunity for you guys to, you know, learn some financial principles and things like that. Yes, and he teaches very, very common-like. So it's going to remove the veil of the craziness. Get in, get involved. Yeah. It's an investment in your future. And these are discussions. I would watch it with the whole family. So you pay your fee, bring your whole family in because, uh, you know, opportunities are going to be mm -hmm. presented to us in the near future that haven't been there yeah. and if we can't take advantage of those opportunities that's a fact it's just that we gotta blame ourselves now so we feel that here at Urban X we have to at least you know bring something to you tangible yeah. that you can walk away with uh, also uh, so you, for the people that don't know you can sign up in the description below yeah the description. sign up in the description below humble introvert we thank you for your donation donation 